Hey guys, I am back with your angelic reading for the week. Um, it is Tuesday. No, sorry. It is Wednesday, um, but I'll be posting this tomorrow. Okay, so sorry if I keep saying it's Wednesday or whatever the case may be. I always record these the day before. Okay, um, as I was doing my channeled messages, um, I had a clear cut message and basically like you know i felt like some type of pain in my head and then i heard up to your head okay and basically like spirit angels you know they were basically trying to tell me like you know stop being in your head so much about um you your expectations about others okay you tend to fall in love with potential instead of like what the person is okay and you're you keep breaking your own heart in this regard um the angels want you to know to like you know start taking things at face value okay um don't get caught up in like all these expectations and like these fantasies um about someone without true or something or some situation without truly knowing all the facts okay i think that message was very very clear um to me um you know because i always meditate you know prior to these readings for the collective for what the collective needs to know you know from the divine and to help me serve as a reflection to the collective um all right so let's begin today is october 4th october 4th to the 5th i need three cards this is the angelic reading october 4th to the 5th 2023 please oh Ooh. off the bat major arcana that Gemini energy. I think that the moon is in Gemini. It's been in Gemini t yesterday and today. So it's very significant that that card just jumped right out. And it resonates to the number six, which is fear, procrastination, and uh, taking your time when making, you know, some type of decision or action. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that one came in the reverse. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Oh, that's pretty clear. Okay. Beloved angels and guides, 100% pure white light only. Please send me your safe and all divine messages that wish to immerse through these readings. I have for confidence, clarity, and compassion, and conduct a journey for myself or others. Just give me some cards to clarify this, the tarot further for the collective. Clarify the tarot. Whoa. That card came out before. One more card, please. Yeah. Yeah, I'll pull out that card in a little bit. Okay, we'll dive into the cards. Okay, so we got the lovers, the king of fire, and the ten of fire. Okay, um, and the king of earth in the reverse. Okay, so that's regarding the channeled messages. I feel like you were trying to, especially that it came along so with the manifestation card you were trying to manifest something as far as like some type of relationship some type of connection some type of romantic situation with someone okay um you're sitting in the king of fire okay um right now you're you know mastering that creativity mastering that initiative mastering you know um your temper even or mastering like you know sending messages you know your your actions okay um 
and, and with the books, I feel like you're you're studying, you're 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 studying your craft. They have to if this if you're in like creativity mode, you're studying your craft, you're studying about like what it is that like you're trying to create or or you know birth. Um, and you've dropped some kind of burden. There's some type of burden that you've dropped that, and I think it has to do with this connection that you wanted to manifest. Okay. Um, and then you have the king of earth in the reverse. Okay. And I feel like this king of earth in the reverse, I feel like you knew that this person was never going to give you what it is that you wanted, what is it that you needed or deserved. This, because the King of Pentacles is here, this is someone who was non-committal. Um, they're bad with their money. They're not safe. They're not stable. They're not, they're not secure. Okay. You decided to become your own king. Okay, this is why you mastered your, your, your very self-disciplined at this time. You know, you're pursuing and initiating and acting on those things that you're passionate about, that drive you. Um, you're no longer like in this like lovey mentality because I see all about action here. I feel like you understand now that like actions speak louder than words. Words are just that okay and i feel like you were dealing with someone who was talking a lot wasn't really saying much okay and um about your connection wasn't really offering you much like they refused to commit to you they refused to like you know give you a stable solid offer and you dropped that burden um you said you know enough is enough i've seen all the red flags and I i'm out okay um vegetarian vegan okay but i feel like in this instance it's like you went on some type of diet and i feel like with the self-discipline here you went on a on some type of diet as far as like cutting those toxic things out of your life okay that no longer serve you it could be you know a diet you know literally but i feel like with the angel therapy card I feel like it's deeper than that. You went on some type of detox, like you're not drinking, you're not doing, you're not, you're not engaging in risky behaviors. You're not, you know, uh, you know, sleeping around or like, you know, impulsively shopping, impulsively doing people. You're just very self-disciplined with your actions at this time. You're disciplined with your passions. Like you have, you've mastered like that fire. Like, you know, like you understand that in order to like, we touched on this a couple of readings ago about like how a fire can be used to warm a home um and 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 or it can be used to burn down a home okay and i feel like you've that light of yours that little light of yours is now this big bright light that like you just know how to tame okay you just you know when to give into situations, you know when to step back, you know when to say something, you know when to like step back, you know when to assert your power, you know when to like be confident, like confident versus cocky, you know, like, you know, like you're very self-disciplined in your actions right now. Like, you know when it's time to act and when it's time to not, okay? you've dropped that burden about this like fear or, or worry about this relationship and now you're more worried about yourself you're looking more inward especially with the books i feel like that gives me very much like that hermit energy where like you're studying yourself you're self-reflecting um you're, you may be reading some self-help books or, or or you know like you know books that like help you on whatever topic it is that you're interested in at this time okay um one more message for the collective regarding the situation. Clarify. Yeah, yeah, I can see that, yeah. You chose a new direction. You chose to move on. You chose to drop this burden, okay, with the 10, ten of um, wands in the reverse. You chose a new direction. You chose a new journey. You chose a new path. And you're on this path of recovery, he healing. Yeah, that's why I said that you're going through some type of detox, okay? It's not just about vegan, vegetarian. It's like you're going through some type
type of like detox it could be like drugs it could be like alcohol it could be you know sex because sex is also an addiction um it could be gossiping or like being too much on social media it, whatever it is that was like toxic in your life um like you're learning how to like kind of like tame that that beast within you know what i'm saying um and you're cutting off those people, places, things, situations that no longer align with um, you, you know, being impulsive. Because that's another thing, like, you know, you're, you're not showing up as a page. Pages are very impulsive. They're very childish. You're showing up as a master, a king. Like, you know when to, like, burn it down, per se, and when to kind of, like, you know, tame dragons in a way. Um you're recovering from whatever it is those toxic things that were you know were really draining you and 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 keeping you from like whatever it is that you were stuck with okay i feel like in this instance it was like this this romantic situation that went awry with the king of earth in the reverse um I feel like you understood that this person was never, you know, either they, they were never going to change. They were always going to stay stuck in a situation. They were always going to keep you in some type of karmic situation. Um, they, they, you know, they weren't really the person that you were looking for. They, you know, that, 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 that commitment, you know, you decided to commit to yourself. You decided to like, you know, um, give all that back to yourself the security the stability the security the safety you're probably even working on your finances or like more focused on your money at this time you chose yourself um with this choose a new direction or you're choosing yourself for the time being until you know someone worthwhile comes along okay and you kind of have that kind of like mastered on like what to act on and what to not and um you're dr like I said, you're dropping those things that weigh you down. Okay, you're no longer burdened by this. You're like over this like situation. Um, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Good for you, um, collective. Somebody's been doing really hard work here, um, inner wise and even externally, like with like getting rid of toxicity, because it's not easy. You know, a lot of people say it's very easy to let go of certain things, but nobody ever talks about like, and I saw a meme like this, like, you know, like letting go of people like that, you know, that, that, that it's heartbreaking people that you love, those things that you love, but nobody talks about like the grief that comes with having to stand on those decisions, having to stand on, okay, I can't be this person's friend because, you know, they engage in, you know, risky behaviors that I don't engage with, that I don't believe in, or letting go of, you know, lovers, you know, who were just stringing you along and playing games with you and, you know, keeping you small, okay? No one ever talks about the grief um, of that. Um, and it's very hard. It's very, you know, with the spirit, the spiritual journey is very lonely. Um, you know, especially when you kind of open your eyes to a world where like everybody's conforming, everyone's trying to fit in, everybody's trying to do right by society. And, you know, you know, looking past the facades of, you know, what is put out there for society, um, to follow you know these norms that we have to follow right that, you know um i feel that it's very hard to find partners it's very hard to be friends with people um social media has kept us connected a lot but it's very hard to find spiritually minded people um or even be in relationships where you know they're not toxic you know like um because if you know, if, if one person is healed and the other one is not, the other one refuses to make changes, like it's always just going to be this continuous cycle of hurt and pain. And it's being brave enough to kind of step off that wheel and like say, no, enough is enough. Like this ends with me. I'm not going to repeat the patterns from the past. Um, yeah, so keep doing the work. Keep, keep, you know, choosing yourself and, and keep hoping and keep you know, keep your head up, really, um, I'm proud of you, if anyone didn't tell you that, like, I am proud of you, and you're 
doing amazing you're doing great things and yeah keep it up um guys i hope someone was able to obtain some type of clarity thank you so much for tuning in i'm available for personal readings parties and events all my information is within the description box um please be sure to check out my etsy shop um where i sell you know crystal jewelry evil eye protection jewelry tarot accessories i have these brand new candles now beautiful candles etsy.com slash shop slash phoenix ascension 333 thank you so much and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day take care bye